Oh. Oh, okay. Do I look like I have any money? Yes, actually. You look like you're lousy with gold. <laughs> Not gonna ask again. All right. Fine. I'd rather die. Yes, that's your last request, fool. Never should have come here. <laughs> And that was your last request, facing me. All this garnet. Taking me on with steel daggers. And, and, the, and he scaled things. Eh. Yeah, that's okay. A bit better than mine, in terms of armor. But you just couldn't out DPS me with those kind of pitiful weapons. Okay, definitely the town I want to go to is this way. Okay. Oop, quick save. All the path down here. Eh, not going to bother to have so much leather at home. Looks like this is like a bandit's uh, home. Must be where he came from. Empty. He hasn't stolen anything lately, I guess. <laughs> He's a rather bad thief. <laughs> Not very good. Ooh. Well, it seems like we're going to have another visitor here soon. <gasps> wait, wait. Ah, oh, it's Mike was again. Once the land of many butterflies. Now, not so much. <laughs> Interesting. Snow falls. Why worry when it goes? Mike thinks the snowflakes are pretty. <laughs> much snow in Skyrim. Enough snow. Mike does not want any more. <laughs> Mike is tired now. Okay. Who bother somebody else? Awesome. Oop, what? I heard it. There we go. Mike and his many words of wisdom. So that will be my second Mike encounter. Contend with over there. Oh, and it chomped on me. down. Another bear down. Call me the bear killer. The bear hunter. <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Bear slayer. Okay. <laughs> many mountain flowers. Got the purple ones, the red ones, the blue ones. Okay, yeah. Helgen will be that way too. Bear must have killed that rabbit. Poor rabbit. It was feasted upon <laughs> by the bear. Random wagon out in the wilderness. 
Seems like we got a couple of people here. Save. Imperial business. Be on your way. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Okay. Not right now. Fight or die well. Citizen, I'm warning. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. Wolves. And before they can go back to report it. Sorry, man. Didn't help you soon enough. But... I tried. I'm sorry. I wasn't good enough. Yeah, okay. Awesome. <laughs> that actually has to report to a city guard. Ooh. Awesome. Da 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 da. Steve is this way. I'm just gonna ignore that skeever. More mushrooms. More moss. More stuff. Do do do. I do do do. I do do do. Viewers. So alone. <laughs> Steed discovered. Lightly armor means light on your feet. Smart. Ah, yes. Oh well. In town. Change my apparel. Don't want to disturb people by <laughs> looking like a mass murderer. <laughs> okay, so let's see for the two local map. There's a guy. And then that inn is where I need to deliver that mead. Awesome. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? We can tell him about hi, uh... Hrothgar. Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks. When the weather permits it. Uh huh. <laughs> Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Ah, okay. <sighs> what a boring conversation. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Ooh. Tell me more about the barrow. There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Ah. Look, I've seen of the spirits with my very own eyes when it glared at me I swear it burned right through my soul Ooh. do the spirits haunt your town as well fortunately they seem to be sticking to the barrel I think they're guarding it yeah oh. isn't helping my business any who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrel sure I could investigate it for you if you think there's anything you can do be my guest Alright. Well, anyway. Um, I got a delivery here. Alright, pipe down! You want the whole blessed place to hear you? The arrangement called for a trade. I hope you'll find this suitable. Alright. Okay. Anyway. Has anyone ever explored the borough before? About a year or two ago. Some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a 
treasure, treasure hunter. hunter. Huh? I warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. That was it, huh? We never saw him again. Ah. Uh. Well, what do you can tell me about High Hrothgar? Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. Uh huh. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit, but almost all of them have returned disappointed. Ah. Uh. I'm looking for work, Gunny Leeds. Take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Sure, why not? You don't look like a pilgrim. Pardon me, my lady. Why bother Would you care to hear me play my lute? Play, play your lute? fancy a bit of music, let me know. What do you play? Play the lute. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. No. Nah. Um. <laughs> Merely five gold. I'd easily play twice that to hear you play. That's so sweet of you. I'll tell you what. I'll play a special song just for you, for no charge at all. Oh, well, thank you. Okay. All right. Bit of clipping there. What do you want? Ah, oh, yes. That was a nice little song. Thank you. Thank you for the free entertainment. Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. Oh, yes, yes. You're a really annoying person. Alright. And Nern Roots right at my feet. Might as well. <laughs> See if he's got anything. Gold, Horker Loaf. Lock pick, silver ring. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I've got a call. 